Well, the city of Winter Haven has started a new Black History Month tradition. Yeah, every year they will honor four local African American heroes who have made an impact on the community. Dean is here now to introduce the first four heroes being recognized this month. Hey, good morning, everybody. So from the first and only African-American female mayor to an attorney who gave free services to minorities, four black historical figures have banners on display in the community they served all in honor of Black History Month. Larry Hardaway. Oh, he was so sweet. Just fun loving. And Darby. Always, always involved, always on the go, always on the move. UJ Johnson. And he was a kind and gentle guy. And Lim Gathers. To us, he was dad, but to everyone else, you know, he was this community figure. All pivotal Winter Haven figures who are now being honored as local heroes. It seemed like it was a long time coming. And, and to recognize someone who has been a trailblazer in your community and an icon just uh, made us all happy. Perry Blocker, Larry Hardaway's sister, says he served this community as an attorney who gave free services when needed, served as a community rights leader, mentor, and community activist. Her legacy, I guess, comes through us in, in the way that she's always pushed us to, you know, be involved, to, you know, to give. Adrian Darby is Ann Darby's oldest daughter and was the first and only black female commissioner and mayor of Winter Haven. His thing was, let's give back to the community that nourished us when we were small. This is Thelma Johnson, was UJ Johnson's wife. He served on the planning commission for 20 years, served as a college professor, gave out scholarships, and was a community activist. At a time when my dad was vocal was not really the safest time for an African American. So I think that was the biggest thing, is because someone had to bridge the gap between the two communities. That's the legacy Lim Gathers left. His son told me, as a former mayor, commissioner, community activist, his work is still felt throughout this community today. And that's the case for all of these local heroes. All four of these figures died within the last two years, and Darby most recently passed away in December. Now, their legacies will live on even after Black History Month, as the banners will be displayed on MLK Street in Winter Haven beginning in March. And if I could just show y'all, tell y'all about the smiles mm -hmm. on all of their faces when they were talking about how their loved ones are being honored. Oh, I love that. Well, how, how are they honored? How do they receive and how is this uh, done? So it's amazing. The city of Winter Haven, they honored all of them and they recognized them, gave them plaques um, and proclamations during their city council meetings. And so there were... Yeah on events for this. So well deserved. I mean, they served yeah. their communities for a very, very long time. Very long time. All right. Thank you, Deanne. Well, today, the Gasparilla Music Festival.